Today, I have a really cool product. For someone that has had their Tesla for probably about two years, you're probably gonna need one of these pretty soon. I'm talking about a battery. And most batteries you can't hold like this because they're heavy. The lead acid battery inside of a Tesla is extremely heavy. This is a lithium ion battery to go along with the lithium batteries underneath the car, getting rid of all the old technology in your Tesla. Weight savings isn't a huge deal when you're looking at an electric car because these things are heavy, but 28.8 pounds for the regular lead acid battery that comes in your Tesla Model Y. And now we're going to try out the new battery. Let's see if it even registers. Yeah, it doesn't even register. 7.8 pounds. Huge difference, 20 pounds. And a little smaller. I'm gonna show you how to install it today, and then we're gonna test some things out. So why is this such a big deal? Yes, the weight is different. Um, they are, they're putting out the same amount of power. But why would you do this? This one's a lot more expensive than this one. I never had an issue with my Model 3, and I had a lot of stuff hooked up to it. This one is a year and a half old, and I already got the codes showing up on the dash because I had a lot attached to this battery. It's not such a good idea to have a lead acid battery that wears out quicker than a lithium battery. And here is the major difference why you want to upgrade to this. Four years from date of purchase, this is a warranty, full replacement on this battery. Tesla charges a lot for these batteries. And yes, they were uh, replacing them on the Model 3s in the, originally, but I don't think they do that for free anymore. I don't think this is covered under warranty. But I would rather not go through having to get tow my vehicle to a Tesla dealership, maybe very far from you, or having to wait and schedule something for someone to come out to your house and it may be weeks before you would actually get a battery because if this thing goes bad, you can't drive the car at all. The car is, is a paperweight, very heavy paperweight. Now to be completely upfront, uh, they sent this battery out for review. I did not pay for this battery. I contacted them because of the stuff I'm gonna be adding to this car. I'm gonna be adding air ride to my car. So I wanted something that's very powerful because the compressor is gonna be running quite a bit to air up the the tank so I can air up my suspension system. These things can go bad. Lead acid batteries can go bad. It can leak lead, it can leak fumes and things like that. And they can smell really bad. There's no fumes, nothing from this battery. And uh, you can, again, less than eight pounds, you can lift it. It's just a better battery. Just a better battery. That should be their slogan. Everyone knows these things as a 12 volt battery. They're actually a 14.3 volt battery stock one is as well. It's a direct replacement for your Model 3, Model Y, Model S, I guess the older one because the new ones have a lithium battery. Uh, it's just a better way to go. I would like to break it open and see what's inside, but we'll leave that for another channel. Dan, you wanna cut one open? So the first thing that needs to be done is we remove this. And this kinda just pops right off. And you see the battery right here. Now, like I said before, I'm gonna be cleaning up a lot of this stuff here. Uh, so I'm gonna remove this frunk so I can see it better, so you can see it actually better as well. Can you tell I've done this before? So now with the frunk gone, you can actually see a whole lot better. And we're gonna do a couple things here. We're gonna disconnect the battery, of course, and remove it. But before we do that, we have to unhook the main uh, pack. This is the shutoff to the main pack which is actually supplying power to this battery. This is a 12 volt battery, which is actually like a 14 volt battery. So we wanna remove that, but we don't want anything transferring over to this while we're doing that or putting it back on and having a, an extra spark or anything like that. And like I said before, I am gonna be removing a lot of things. You'll see me clean all this up. Uh, I'm gonna remove this. This is the solar panel that I had on the hood. I don't have that anymore. This is my power frunk, so I'm gonna leave that here, but I'm gonna remove this. This is a, a 50 amp breaker that I had running to underneath the car. So I'm gonna clean up a lot of this stuff. So now before we actually take anything apart, we wanna disconnect the main battery pack. And to do that, you go inside the car first, roll, open up the door, roll the window down, open, keep the frunk open. We're going to go into safety and security, power off the vehicle, and turn off the screen. Leave this door open, don't wanna close that. And that is turning the power off to the screen, but that's not really doing much of anything. We wanna disconnect things. So we're gonna come over here, pull the red tab, 
and then we disconnect the main battery pack. Now the whole system is down except for this. We're gonna detach everything from this, which is taking off the negative first and then taking off the positive terminal. You wanna do it then in that order. And then when you put it back on, you do positive and then negative. Just loosen them up and then lift up. Move that out of the way. And actually that one's an eight millimeter. Loosen that up and now it's able to come up. All right, so I got a lot of the wires out of here. Well, I have to feed some back through the firewall. This is cleaned up and it looks a lot like what everyone else's would look like. But now it's time to remove this bracket. And all you have to do is just remove this, pull this lead out. That is where the overflow, or if it gets too hot, um, the acid can roll out and e exhaust down. Also with gases too, the, it can exhaust some gases. So we're gonna remove this bolt, which should be a 10 millimeter because this is what holds down the battery. That is a long bolt. All right, so we remove that. We're gonna put that up there. This can go right up there. And then we just grab the handle and lift it right out. Oh my God, that thing's heavy. Oh, Jesus, criminy. And to put the battery in, it's, well, it's a little easier because you can extend your arm with this thing and it's not very heavy, but it's just the reverse. You uh, swing that up drop this into place, put the handle down, and then we're going to bolt it back down. Now this is the drain for the original battery. We're just gonna tuck this down out of the way because it's not needed. Now we need to hook up the battery. That's when these come into play. These are the covers, like I said. Now you can see there's different sizes. This is the, the larger one is for the positive terminal and the smaller one is for the negative terminal. We're gonna put the negative one in our pocket because we're just gonna mess with the positive first. And I did just notice one thing. We wanna shift the battery over. Loosen it up, shift it over a little bit, then tighten it down because this bracket is pretty far over and you don't want the metal pieces touching this metal. We're gonna put this cap over top of it Slide it down. What you want to do is grab this, put it over top, swing it down, and put that all the way down. Then tighten it up. Now that is nice and tight, and you see there's enough gap there where we're not touching anything. Time for the negative. I'm going to take the cover, and these are tapered, so you can't put it on backwards. You just drop that down. Grab the negative terminal and drop it right on. And you'll, you'll start hearing things turn on. Grab your 10 millimeter and cinch it down. Now one thing to note, if you're going to use a wrench, you don't want to go across and arc these two together. That is going to cause a short and that is going to give you a bad day. It's going to scare the crap out of you. You're probably going to have to change your underwear and you could ruin the battery and your, some of your electronics. So don't do that. It's ready to go. Now I'm going to attach all my other stuff later on after we plug this back in. Now the big battery is attached. You hear it click. So there you go. Easy installation of a lithium battery, super easy. There is a link below for this. Uh, they did offer a discount code for everyone. Uh, watching this if you're interested in buying one uh, hit the link down below but i think it's really cool and i thank them for sending it out to me because again like i said in the front here i'm going to be having an air compressor that's going to be running quite a bit which is going to drain that a little bit more so stay tuned to the channel subscribe to the channel because i'm going to let you know if this battery lasts a long time because i'm going to be running that compressor quite a bit again i want to thank them again for sponsoring this video uh sending out the battery so we can test it see how easy it is to install you don't need to call a tesla technician you don't need to take the frunk out even uh, it's really basic stuff hope you enjoyed the video as always stay awesome stay positive stay charged and i'll catch you on the next one see ya